to wrap up uh, wrap up our trend knowing episode, we are going to talk about some top tips on how to incorporate trend knowing in your routine.、Mm-hmm. Whether you are a beginner or you're a little bit more seasoned,、uh, I think number one is to remember that you know you don't always have to go higher right off the bat,、uh, especially if you're new to this category.、Um, if you are working with a telederm or an actual in person derm, definitely be a little wary、mm-hmm. on. You know, jumping right in at the point of five percentage, and you know we do advise starting low and slow to make your skin acclimate. Unless you're on acne, yes, acne is a completely different genre than just douche. <laughs>、yeah. That, and we should also mention, I think that's something to keep in mind is、um, a lot of times. I think the reason why people go so aggressively into tretinoin is because they're used to hearing those percentages and concentrations from their acne buddies. Yeah, and that's not for everyone. Right.、Um, usually, that level, that frequency, is because they've been kicked into high gear to really treat that breakout as quickly as possible.、Mm-hmm. Um, but for those of you that are just Here for a good time with anti aging and a long time. A long time <laughs> does not have to be like that. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, number two, we do get this question a lot about any actives. Where does it go in your skincare routine? Yeah. So most tretinoins are come in creams or emulsions. So、um, they're not usually your first step. We really like to recommend using a soothing serum, which usually comes in a water based form. Go ahead and use that、uh, right after your cleanse, and then apply tretinoin. We find that combo has been really successful. Yes, and you will also hear most people recommend just using it at night.、Mm. We are also in that camp. Most tretinoins nowadays are formulated to be much more stable than the original formulas. But that said, you know,、um, follow your derm's instructions. Definitely use sunscreen during the day,、mm-hmm. and if you have any doubt, just use it at night. Yeah. Oh, and we should also mention that、um, you can apply your face oils and balms. Post tretinoin. Yes. Okay. Great. I think the other common question that we get is, can tretinoin be used with X active? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs>、uh, kind of mirroring our sentiment in our retinol episode last year. <laughs> Basically, yes, you、yeah. can use tretinoin with almost any actives you can think of. Yeah. The big caveat is always just managing skin irritation.、Yeah. If you're starting tretinoin in your routine and you're a little worried, just start with basically your soothing moisturizers, your barrier care. Cleanse, moisturize, tretinoin. That's it, and then sunscreen during the day. And when you feel like, okay, my skin can handle this, no problem. You can definitely use things like AHAs, vitamin C, no problem at all. Totally. It is possible that you know when you are just starting your tretinoin journey,、um, and you are going through your purging phase,、mm-hmm. applying some of these more low pH formulas can feel very uncomfortable. So this is why you know、um, why Gloria suggests. Just start with the bare minimum. Make sure skin is acclimated, and then get to、um, starting to add some of those other fun stuff. Yeah, fun fact: I my skin is pretty retinol sensitive,、mm-hmm. so when I go off of it and then go back、mm-hmm. on it, a lot of times if I'm not careful, I just do because I'm typically very acid tolerant. Yeah, but if I use say like a thirty percent glycol, like a, like our gold standard. It feels like demons are coming out of my pores. That's actually. I'm so glad you brought that up because it reminds me of、um, this one lady who was telling us about her tretinoin journey、mm-hmm. and how she used to be one that was using like 0.1 tretinoin all the time, and then after she got pregnant, she stopped use, and suddenly even a retinol was too much for her. She thought that、yeah. she would be fine going、Just、to like a one percent retinol,、mm-hmm. and then she was like, even that was too much. Yeah, and I think people who maybe take breaks. May feel like skin has this like memory of your relationship with tretinoin. No, it's a new, it's like a new thing every time. Exactly, mixed bag. You have no idea what you're gonna get. So you know that's another thing to keep in mind too. If you're one that's like, I'd like to get back into retinoids, um, always go slow and low. Yeah, yeah. and kind of an important subset to this: Can I use tretinoin with、yeah. X Y Z? Question is: Can you use tretinoin with BPO? Yeah, so that's a common、uh, concern out there. Twenty years when I was using it, but back then they really told us not to use them together.、Um, but since then, I think there's been a couple studies back in like the 2010s、um, that came out showing that they've basically debunked this claim and、mm-hmm. that combining these would not actually cause tretinoin to degrade. So that's really not a problem. It's really more about do you, does your skin enjoy having these two together in the same routine? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's now in a way a pretty common combination to use BPO with. Uh, a tret, yeah,、um, for acne,、mm-hmm. and yeah, like Victoria said, just proceed with dryness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
And probably we should mention just one final thing on, you know, the actual retinization purging period. Um, it is very common that when you start to experience flaking, dryness, and breakouts, mm -hmm. even if you start at a very low dose. So we just like to remind you to stick with it. Um, consistency is key. Things to look out for on whether or not you should dial down is if suddenly the discomfort is too much, you're shedding like a snake, your redness is too much. Any of these things that you feel like is just not it's not a fun experience for you, we would say then it's time to either dial down the concentration or the frequency. You don't mm -hmm. have to start right out of the gate once every day. You can do once every week to see what happens. Um, and yeah. Yeah. And last but definitely not least, sunscreen. Please use sunscreen. If you're not going to use it, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> sunscreen. It might be cold now, but sunscreen. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. And I guess one last note is... This will this will kind of reference to our next episode and the yeah. episodes after. Yeah. If you're using a different retinoid, if you're on a retinol or you're using a dappling, you don't always have to come here in the tretinoin realm. Yeah, um, that's a really good point. It's uh, vitamin A as a whole category is really well studied, and we'll take a closer look at some of the hot misconceptions of these other retinol, other molecules in the retinoid family. But that's it for yeah. this episode.